Hi, I'm Steve from Ruthie's Restaurant here in Yuba City. Um, we are going to tackle a dish that a lot of people are intimidated by, but it's one of my favorite things to eat at home, and we do occasionally here at the restaurant for special occasions and things. It's a rack of lamb. I'm going to show two different ways to prepare it, and two different, totally different styles and as far as flavors go. This uh, first one will be with uh, fresh garlic and fresh rosemary. They will be chopped together and rubbed uh, all over the outside of the lamb. What I'm doing here is uh, shredding the leaves off of the rosemary and then we will chop the rosemary and the sliced garlic together. This is probably the hardest part of the, the lamb that we're going to end up doing today. You look across here, this is what I'm talking about, the, the silver, silver skin or connective tissue. Uh, real chewy, so what you want to do with your sharp knife is just go right underneath the skin. See, hardly any waste. Uh, you want to try to keep as much meat on there as you can. Come back, trim that off. If you ever want to tackle a leg of lamb, you do the same way. Break it down into the separate muscles and clean all this off in the excess, uh, excess fat. I'm going to go ahead and finish this one. Now what I'll do is cut this fat back away from This is where your strong flavors come from. And for your picky eaters that don't like lamb, this will make it a lot more palatable to them. Okay, now this one here, I'm going to leave it just the way it is. And we'll do this to it. I'm going to cut across here probably about uh, three or four times, maybe a quarter inch into the meat. And come back and do it this way too, in between the bones. And what I'll do is take that silver skin that we're talking about here and cut it up into smaller pieces and it won't be as hard to chew. This is a blend that we do here at the restaurant of uh, Cajun style spices. You can find something similar to this in the grocery store. I think Emerald makes one called uh, His Essence. Uh, the, the one that inspired me was Paul Prudhomme's blend. Uh, I discovered that almost 30 years ago in his first cookbook. It's, it's a blend of about uh, 12 to 15 different spices and herbs. You take those and pack those in really nice. This is what they call rub. They can get a little bit on the bones because we like to chew on the bones too after all the meat's gone. This is the way that we normally will eat it at home. I'll let it sit for about 20 minutes to let it absorb the uh, different spices and herbs and everything. This, this one we will usually do on lamb chops. Not as much on the rack, but on the lamb chops. And really work it into the meat. This is really nice this way. You might think, wow, it's going to have a real strong taste with all that garlic and the rosemary. It does have a strong taste. Believe it or not, most of this falls off on the griddle as it's cooking, so it's not as intense as you would think. These two are they're different sizes, so they're going to take uh, different times to cook. One thing to do is, uh, let's see, uh, I'll let this go until it starts, starts seeing some smoke coming up, and then I will turn it 90 degrees so we'll have the nice marks on it. And then uh, you watch for uh, the red juices to start coming up through the top of the meat. That's when you turn it, and then you'll cook it for less time on the other side. Go. 
Check these and see if they're nice and pink on the inside. I'd say that's about a perfect medium rare again.